Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from mrcampbellrocks.com. Today I'm gonna to show you the new updates in Google Docs connected with text wrapping. It's a new feature which allows you to put images behind text or in front of text instead of just the inline centered or behind. So the first thing that you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to open up a Google Doc. Um, I have a Google Doc here and just for reference, this actually works with um, images or you can actually do this with drawings. Um, so let's show you on both how you can do that. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to open up a new Google Doc. You can click docs.new um, and open up a new Google Doc. You can see that I already have text in my document. And we're going to insert an image first. So I'll just upload one from my computer. Uh, let's just take this KP logo. So you'll see that I have um, this image placed right here in the document. And historically, what we were allowed to do is we could put it in line with the text, we could wrap the text like this, we could break the text like this. The two new options are right here, and I'll zoom on these. One is behind the text. So you'll see now when I click off that image is that the image is now behind the text. If I click back on that image or in front of the text. What this allows you to do is this allows you to get more of a magazine feel so you can move things around and have things um, be in front of or behind, kind of layers, almost like in slides or in Canva where you have different layers. So once again, you click on the image, you'll come up here to text wrapping and you'll have these five options now. You can also mess around with the margins. Um, if you're gonna do any sort of wrap, you could do that as well. This also works with drawings. So I'm going to insert a new drawing and we will just um, do something kind of like this. Let's make it a little bit brighter so we can see it here. So we'll end this here. And then when you click on the, it treats it just like an image. Again, you go to text wrapping and you'll see that I can now move that text in front of or behind that image. So that's a new feature that just came out with Google Docs this past week. Again, if you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator. Uh, again, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.